Good evening, Enchanted Ones, and welcome to the channel. If this is your first time here, hi, I am Danielle, and if this isn't your first time here, welcome back. So, this is going to be a channel message for the collective today. Um, I've already pulled some cards, so this video won't be super long, but I am going to pull some cards on camera as well. But before we get into the cards, let's talk about this 111-222 energy that we've got happening right now. So one of the things that you can expect is that new opportunities are coming in, new doorways are opening, and new pathways are opening, and unexpected opportunities so one of the messages that spirit has is to stay open um, don't be closed off don't be isolated um, reevaluate you know what you're saying no to you know spirit doesn't want you to just become you know a yes man or a yes woman or anything like that but be more open to things you know reevaluate why you're saying no are you just saying no because you're used to saying no um, or you know you just don't want to be bothered you've gotten you know just you know gotten into that space where you've just gotten used to being shut off and not doing certain things not going certain places or what have you not taking advantage of certain opportunities or not going to certain social events and things where opportunities and just random opportunities and unexpected opportunities could be waiting for you so reevaluate your nose and you know be more open to different things when the opportunities come up um another thing with the 222 uh piggybacking off of what i just said as far as being more social being more open in that respect to um connecting more um focusing on relationships more and that's also focusing on your relationship with you know yourself and with spirit um that's another thing coming in with the 111, really connecting with spirit more, taking more time out and going deeper. Um, that's one of the messages that I channeled like early this morning. Uh, Cause I, you know, I got, I, I was called to do a reading and then I did the poll and then I'm like, okay, well, what am I gonna be called to actually do the reading? Cause I've just been really trying to listen to my intuition more. And um, you know, following that and so this morning I started channeling and that's um, one of the things that I started channeling one of the things I was channeling this morning was this you know call from spirit to that is one and you know the collective to connect with it deeper not that we haven't you know been on the right track and been in alignment because we have but you know, there are certain things that we, certain practices and certain routines and things that we had, relationships that we had built with spirit, and we're not doing the same things that we once were. And so there's this, you know, call for the collective to go deeper with spirit. And, you know, it's like a reminiscent type of vibe too. Like it's something that we used to do. It's something that you used to do um, to really connect and you know commune with spirit that you haven't been doing and spirit is calling you to go back to that practice or whatever that is again so let's get into the cards i'm just gonna pull them all out before i start reading decks working here so this is the whispers of the ocean oracle so you have breakthrough to new dimensions resilience and facing your fears okay and so that's definitely you know confirmation of what i was just saying that the the 111 222 energy is bringing in you know 
new things are on the horizon. Um, another thing that is coming in is new ideas. So if you've been stuck in a rut and, you know, if your job or something depends on creativity, um, new ideas and fresh ideas, that's something that you can expect to come in as well. But Spirit also wants you to have this go with the flow and trusting sort of energy um with this resilience here we're saying there's no need to rush or push this is a time to take things as they come you have the determination and patience to handle what is happening so you know <clears throat> although <clears throat> you're being called excuse me to come out come out of this isolation you've been in it for a reason um because it was um just a part of the journey for you to you know rest and recover and really take the time out to heal um because we have healer here but it's in reverse so there there's been a need for you to take a break a lot of things have been happening um you've been really you know doing what you need to do and have been spending a lot more energy than you once were or maybe in the recent past you know um one of the things that you may have been experiencing is this you know back and forth where it's like you have these periods of Things are really happening and moving and there's a lot on your plate and then there are these periods where it's like you're twirling your thumbs or you're just really, you know, wanting to go inward and there's nothing wrong with those periods happen when you're just really feeling like you want to go inward. But now this is one of those times again where it's time to, you know, be more open and just, just start to open up and put yourself out there more. Um we have reclaim your energy and luminescence with the uh beyond Lemur uh, beyond lemuria deck and so with reclaiming your energy definitely if you've been feeling called to in the past within the past few months to go within and really chill out and focus on yourself and you know not taking phone calls like you once were not hanging out as much as you were saying no more um it's okay you were doing that for a reason you were being called to do that for a reason to reclaim your energy but also here with the luminescence um if you haven't been doing this then this card is a signal to take this period of reclaiming your energy and rest and recovery to go within and face your shadow and that's been confirmed here in the scrying mirror here you know with shadow connecting to your shadow um and that's one of the things that will bring a deeper healing because again healing is in reverse and i don't normally you know look at these decks because these deck this particular deck isn't um designed with reversals in mind but it's standing out to me with it being here with we can read and shadow here and the luminescence you know that going deeper and taking your healing to the next level involves you facing your shadow so if you haven't been doing shadow work that's something to focus on and think about and with we can read here with this ethos what i'm getting from this is that until you face your shadow you won't be walking in full integrity you won't be your, you know, you won't be your authentic self because there are parts of you that you are shying away from that you're not embracing, that you're not, you know, showing love to, even though, you know, there are parts of you that you don't necessarily like. It's you, you know, you have to face that and you have to find a way to find the silver lining in those different parts of yourself because you'll get more accomplished coming from a place of transformation when you're coming from it from a place of love instead of you know like disgust oh, oh I hate this about myself I have to change it you know um you can change things that are not that desirable about yourself 
without disliking it, you know? So, you're being called to face your shadow. And again, we have recovery here. Um, but what I'm getting from the sweetness, though, is spirit wanting you to do some sort of spell work okay some sort of attraction spell work so attracting more healing um attracting sweetness or like a sugar coating if you will I, 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 that might not be the best way to put it but that's the best way i can put it right now um but like looking at your shadow shadow from a sweeter angle if you will you know not being so critical. I guess that's the best way to put it. Um, and we also have the final cards here that I've already pre-pulled. <laughs> so, if you've been, you know, really feeling called to go within, or if this has seemed like a dark night of the soul for you, it has just been stretching on and on and on. <coughs> Excuse me, I need some water. There's a reason for that. You have three major arcana cards here so you're dealing with you know some major healing and major transformation so with the judgment card here um again you're being called to take this moment of rest and recovery to go within to self-reflect you know really finding the peace within um because for some of you this period of rest and recovery hasn't been as restful <laughs> in recovering as it could be because it's a period of uncertainty for you and like you might be in between jobs right now um you might be really dealing with some heavy stuff and things are up in the air um i'm getting like you know deals and contracts and different things or housing or something going on with housing that is up in the air maybe you're not sure where you you know you're gonna live you're in between homes and it's just you know so for some of you the spot that you're in is really sticky and it's hard to just you know just go with the flow and be easy with it and trust your intuition and really take that leap of faith and i get it because i've definitely been there but the more calm you can make yourself and it's not um being delusional and you know not facing the reality of what's going on right now in your situation it's knowing it's looking on the past and knowing okay you've been in situations like this before you might not have been in this exact situation but you've been in situations where it was very uncertain you don't didn't know what was going to happen and everything worked out and this is another one of those times so <clears throat> just be productive with this period of uncertainty just go within and reflect and connect deeper with spirit and really draw closer to your higher self your ancestors are definitely calling um on you to go um to connect deeper with them um and just again be productive with this period of time because you're coming out of the hermit mode okay and when you come out of the hermit mode in this period of isolation and healing you're going to be stronger for it and better for it and wiser for it. Um, we also have some back of the deck energy here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, we have Princess of Pentacles in reverse. And so, and right under that, we have Ten of Swords. So, for some of you this this period this this in between period it hasn't been used as productively as it could you know this princess of pentacles in reverse can signal you know being you know complacent procrastinating um you know being in la la land and not using your time as wisely as you could but underneath that was the ten of swords and i'm really you know there's a reason for that. I'm feeling defeated and, you know, turning to escapism, if you will. Just, you know, putting things off because not one to face, you know, what's been happening. But turn to your community, you know. And if you don't have, you know, a physical community with shared inspiration, that was shared inspiration if you didn't see that. If you don't have a physical community, then that's why spirit is telling you to connect deeper with it you still aren't alone so 
whatever those practices were that you really used to find comfort in. And then I know one of those things for me is doing readings. And I haven't been doing readings even for myself as often as I once was, once did. And that's something that spirit has really been calling me to do is do readings for myself and for others more. Um, another back of the deck energy that you have here is fire. You have passion. So with that and you having the heal in reverse, we can read scrying mirror i'm getting another way that you could um heal more deeply and connect the spirit more deeply is by working with the element of fire so you know warm blankets <laughs> warm baths foot soaks teas warm comforting foods you know what i'm saying it doesn't have to be <laughs> unhealthy to be comforting but things along those lines um, will bring more rapid healing for you. Yeah, and we also have expansion here um, with hemp. Yeah. So, again, expanding your healing, just, you know, working with things that are soothing and are healing to you. So, let's pull some cards. I've got a couple decks here to get some final messages from Spirit. This is the... I'm saying that like I'm just feeling inside <laughs> like I just need to do more readings and I you know I've been missing that you know what I'm saying and I think I've shared this with you before like you know doing certain things that you haven't done in such a long time and then you do it it, it can really be you know eye-opening life-changing because I mean you might have this response this deep emotional response that you don't expect <clears throat> because it's something that you know, you just overlooked for so long. So. so we have continuance, memory, vitality, and wisdom. So um, with continuance, I am getting that, you know, this period, um, this in-between period, you, you could expect it to go on for a little bit longer. Um, which I know that isn't something that <laughs> you may want to hear. Um, but with memory and vitality here and wisdom, I'm really getting, you know, focus on the positive, focusing on the good times, looking back. Um, nostalgia is really the vibe that I'm getting with a memory here and using that as a tool to, you know, get you through, um, the good times I'm um, not the good times and <laughs> get you through to the good times so <clears throat> we have a tendency sometimes to you know highlight and only remember the bad things and it's then it's like oh well, nothing good ever happens oh I haven't experienced this I haven't experienced that and we have so you know really I'm reminded right now I, I wasn't really I was semi pool but I didn't want to have a whole bunch of that <laughs> I was semi pulled to um, the Oracle of Shadows and Light, but the image I'm getting right now is the the um, oh, the dried flower fairy from the Oracle of Shadows and Light. And basically, what she does, the you know the lore of this particular being is that she collects all of your sweet memories for you when you're too busy, when you're just going through life and you're on autopilot. She collects, you know, your memories for you and dries them. And when you get into these moments like this, of these 
these periods of uncertainty. It is a time of self-reflection. And part of self-reflection is remembering the good times and remembering, you know, on on fun moments. Um, and with wisdom, you know, that's just a good bit of wisdom, <laughs> you know, to get you through. So, if only one more card comes out, yes, again. One of my favorite decks for some final messages for the enchanted ways. Okay. You and your loved ones are safe. And a new start is coming. I mean... It doesn't get any better than that. You know what I'm saying? Just a nice little wrap up to this reading. So... I know you may not be wanting to hear that, you know, this period of, you know, rest, recovery, things going slower than you may like, may drag on a little bit longer, but just trust that everything is working out. And again, you're dealing with some major things and you're building strength and you're building wisdom. So, you know connect with spirit whatever those rituals are that you haven't really been doing or practices like for me the card readings you know it's it's time to get back to the basics you know and that's not to say that the new things that you've been doing that have been working aren't working and that you should stop it's just we're all and you all are maturing on your spiritual path and I mean with great power comes great responsibility and that means more things on your plate it's just learning how to go about doing them and this is a part of the learning process learning you know to go with the flow more learning to choose peace over anxiety even when you're dealing with some hard situations you know what I'm saying some sticky situations so that is the message you are just putting these cards up thank you all so much for watching like comment subscribe if you aren't already if you are subscribed and you don't have that notification bell click please do and I will see you on the next video